What's up you guys, Luke here and welcome to another edition of Luke's Sunday Drive and today we're on Forza Motorsports 2 and uh, I will again, before we start this one, apologise how bad the Xbox uh, actual fan noise is. If I, um, if it does happen again next time, I will install the game to my hard drive to make sure that it will stop making awful noises like this but um, I've to, to fix this I've had to turn my microphone volume down extremely low so I'm going to have to put the volume up uh, quite loud on post production here so I don't know how this will end up if it will make any difference or not or whether it will just kind of fuck up the audio my audio at least and um, I apologise for that but anyway we're back we're playing some Forza Motorsports 2 and the reason why I've done this one is because it's the oldest Forza game I own as well as I was actually planning to do a uh, Codemasters game again I was actually planning to do uh, Dirt the original but um, because the first game I did with Codemasters, I thought I might split it up a bit. And because the predominantly most of my games I have here are either Codemasters or Turn 10. So I think we might like, do a bit of swapping about now. So, I don't, so I'm don't. So i not going to make sure that they're not back to back or anything like that. I don't want to do that. So we may just play some random games in our upcoming weeks and then come back to these games. Uh, like Forza 3 and stuff like that later on. But um, we're going to just jump into Queer here because that Forza games are notoriously bad for their kind of single game thing and um, it's actually really nice to be back here actually because I've not played Forza 2 for probably about two and a half years so it is amazing to come back here and uh, I kind of forget how this game kind of plays here so I'm just going to find a nice race here for some reason I'm in a Lotus 3 and uh, as you can see here I've actually done quite a lot of races here which is pretty good I'm not going to do an endurance because that's just really annoying let's try and uh, well I've done all these really I have completed like 90% of the entire. Well, okay. Let's just do factory. Oh, I don't want to do factory spec. What's that little block there? No eligible cars in my garage. Honda. Done that one. How about a Porsche? No. Ferrari. I got McLaren, but I don't. Let's, let's do the McLaren actually, because obviously I've completed that many McLarens. I've had, I got this got this car and this car. I think this one was gifted to me by a friend, so as respect to that. I don't think I'll be allowed to use that car anyway because I think it's factory sitting, so I don't know if it'll let me or not. Apparently, it will let me do it, apparently, so that's pretty damn sweet. Okay, what, what, what do I do? Nuremberg or Laguna Seca? Uh, New, let's just do Nuremberg, shall we? It's probably the longest track. It's probably going to be the most raging and interesting one ever, but luckily, it won't be that repetitive, so hopefully, there'll be much more action and stuff like that. But one of the things I remember heavily about uh, Forza Motorsports is that the actual the game works differently to the other ones because I remember this one that. If you got off the track, you get time penalties, not added to your race time, but to your lap times. So this is probably a bit different than I'm normally used to here. So that's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a bit interesting to find out how well this goes and stuff like that. But uh, here we go. We're all in the McLaren F1 GT. I don't know what's really the GT version, but we'll hopefully find out that one. So uh, yeah, let's see how well this goes, shall we? What the fuck? Let's the arc out. Okay. The fuck is? I don't know any of these, but how do I get into the car view? Okay. Oh, there's no in-car view. I forgot about this. This is this is Forza, Forza 2, isn't it? So there's no in-car view. I think in-car view comes in at Forza 3, was it? Or Forza 4? I can't remember this. But yeah, guys, I will be definitely playing the later Forza games later on. But uh, at the moment, at least, we're just going to be playing the random Forza with some random advertisement for Mobile One and uh, Michelin and McLaren, obviously, here. So that's going to be quite sweet, I suppose. So, uh, yeah. I can't quite remember how to race this game. But it's typical for the game, so hopefully I should be able to remember some of that. And one of the things I actually quite enjoy about this game is it actually tells me how close the cars are to behind me here. So I can see that NYC is like 60 metres away, 40 metres away and so on. So I like that feature as I just go off the track here randomly. And my penalty is 1.7 seconds apparently, so that's pretty damn sweet, isn't it? Pretty damn cool. I've only been racing for a short time and yeah, I've had quite a large penalty. So there's going to be two laps of this track and I think the lap times are relatively long. I think they'll probably be, probably be about six, seven minutes long, the lap times here, so that's probably, so it's going to be probably be about a 14 minute race, so possibly we might go back to Laguna Seca or something like that, but it depends how long this race lasts for, because I've been currently recording this for about three, four minutes now, I can't quite, I'm not too sure, because I spent like a minute pissing about in the menus and stuff, which I may actually leave the pissing about in the menus on for one video, so you just see me like talking to myself, saying, okay, we're going to record this one, and uh, and you'll see how I, I make sure that the voice links up. Basically, I just go left, right, and then I just... I, I'll probably do a video explaining how I do my videos for, like, a special scenario. I just do behind the scenes of a normal video where I don't cut anything out. I just go straight how I start and the random things happen before the videos. And, and it, me, like, making sure no one on my phone is there to disturb me and so on and so forth. And the audio checks, obviously, but, yeah, we'll go back into that one a bit later. 
But as I did say earlier that I will have to edit the audio post-production here, so I don't know how well it'll go or not. Come on, get off, the, get off that piece of dirt, please, car. That'd be amazing if you could do so. Does 4 and 4 have a rerun? But I think it does, doesn't it? So if you get involved in a crash, you can... Oh, car behind. Wow, eight seconds away, mate. That's pretty damn sorry. I actually really forgot how... I wouldn't say easy, but how good I was at this game. I might actually be able to complete the game here, because I actually kind of enjoy this game, especially that the ability that you could actually... Actually, no, the endurance race is going to be a pain in the ass, so I may not actually complete it. But, you know... I think the endurance race is about an hour long, so I could probably do that in some spare time, actually, because I won't obviously record an endurance race, because that would just be insane. But as I do say, if you do actually want me to play any Forza games or any of my other games I've previously played, I will play more... It's just leave a comment or something in the comment section, and I will... Play it on my other channel, my Lucas Racing channel, which at the moment has zero videos on it, just for the fact that no one actually, I've not come across a game yet I've played that I actually feel that could actually probably make a good series. But this game's got potential though, just because the actual way that it's quite good and it's quite therapeutic, I think, in some ways. Just the way that you can play the game is quite therapeutic, and I quite like this game. Just the way that, oh, as I say, that the car's gone off. I actually can't remember if I've got da damage on in this game or not. So let's see, is there any damage? No, I've got no damage. Car behind, 13.2 seconds. Now, we've been doing this lap for about, what, 3 minutes, 20 seconds? But, yeah, there we go. Don't, please don't do that. Please, please, please. No, drifting. I'm drifting. Everyone, I'm drifting. I'm drifting again. Apparently, I've got damage off then, apparently. Oh, look, oh, look at that. It's awful now. I've destroyed McLaren F1 now. It looks poopy. Oh, wow, the cars are up my arse again because I've done a little spin there. Apparently, that kind of... Fucked around in my car there. I apologise there. It's gonna be. I think we're quite close to the end of the lap actually. I think. Have we done the carousel yet? I can't remember if we've done the carousel yet. If we have, then we're quite close to finishing. But if we haven't, then no, we are. We are miles away. I've, as you can see, I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to keep making mistakes here because I, I don't want to have to restart this race because um, I just don't want to restart this race for most of you guys. Breaking a little bit here, a bit, but a bit earlier than I should be doing, but all well. Car behind now, only six seconds, so it's actually be a bit, a bit of a closer race than it probably planned it to be, but especially when it was earlier. But we'll find out. Go around the corner, faster, power, come on, 100 mile per hour, 120. I can't actually remember the top speed of this car. I think it's probably like 200 and something like that. Actually, no, it's 240 something, wasn't it? But I can't remember if the GT version is any faster or any slower than the other versions. And they've been racing for four minutes, or well, almost five minutes now, actually. So it turns out, I, I think it's probably like an eight minute lap, actually. Yeah. So that's pretty long. Pretty darn long. Just going to go quite fast here, just hoping for the best, really. Get the apex good enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, here, come, here comes the carousel. Only five minutes in. Oh, what's well, actually up there, do you think? Probably like a continuation of the tracks on there, probably. But yeah, actually, what I've realised about this track is they've actually, like, made this, this actual track part of the actual Nuremberg GT track, or GP Grand Prix track, which is pretty cool. So, this track isn't what it looks like now, I suppose. Come on, get off the carousel. Come on. Power! Good. How close are they behind me now, then? Oh, come on. I don't know what I keep doing, I keep trying to do that button to look behind me because so many games, the left bumper is a look behind you and that's a look behind apparently. I don't know why I'm trying to look behind me because I probably won't be able to see the cars because either, either they're too far away or like behind a corner or like the actual um, loading, what's it called, the actual fog in the game, what's it called? I'm trying to think what it's called now, I know there's a really like exciting word to explain how far you view this, when, when the distance, there we go. Fucking hell, should I know now because I play Minecraft a lot, don't I? I was like, what when the distance should you have on? Oh, I mind today, medium. Even though I seem to have mine on far almost permanently now, because I've actually managed to somehow like make it my computer run like far perfectly fine on the board and stuff now, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh no! I didn't do that. Wow, I've got wow I can't even that one. Well I suppose. I could have sworn that cars can be able to do, do a lap of Nuremberg in like six minutes. So why can't I do it? Uh, I'm in a much faster car than this.
Obviously, I'm not pushing as, like, as good as I should do, but still, you know. It's a 200 mile power supercar. Whoa, jump. That's really weird. Well, 1 1 1 1 1. Hooray! Don't I win anything? If that's all sevens, actually, I probably would have won something. Oh, going down here. Oh, look at that. It's nice to open up. I like that when it opens up. Break a little bit, break a little bit. Break a little bit more. Whoa. Oh, look at the mini carousels here now. I don't know what I call it the carousel for. Obviously, I mean, I know I do because it's like some kind of like bank. bank I hate trying to look behind me. That's what I'm doing now. Whoa. Yeah, I think I come out. Here we go. I think we're on main street now. On. Main street, go. Right, look at the fuel. I actually forgot this guy has fuel, fuel in it. Alright, oh, look at the engine noise. Oh, yeah. Engine noise of victory. Get a movie going. 190 miles per hour. 192. Think this car has a top speed of 100, like, no, 240. So why is it stuck at 100? 90. Oh yeah, split time, seven minutes, seconds, seven minutes, that'd be pretty cool. So what's that absolute BMW there? Oh actually that's part of the track, that's part of that track, isn't it? Yeah, that bit there. So, oh, so that bit there, that's actually the Nuremberg racetrack, isn't it? That's the GP bit, isn't it? Hooray for the GP! Actually, they're actually racing this weekend in Formula 1, aren't they? I mean, they've raced it, but actually, yeah, they Today's Sunday, by the way, I'll let's point it out, but they've raced it. To prove it, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for Formula 1, Hamilton's on pole. There you go, spoiler alert, told you that one. But then again, by the time this has come out, the race has probably already been, so spoiler alert from, from someone's already obviously knows the race already ended. Yeah? I think it's I think now it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I think they've actually probably raced there, started racing there now actually. But you know, obviously I'm not watching. I'm too busy playing uh, video games on the Xbox. Split time, ten seconds. Car behind for uh, twenty-four seconds. That means I can afford to like almost wreck the car, I suppose. Whoa, car's starting to fish town now. Oh yeah, look at, look at the screaming crowd, they love this. Whoa, 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 I saved that one. I don't know how I managed to do that one, but oh well. Nope, didn't save that though. Get off that, get off that, get off that please. And that, that'd be lovely if I could actually like, just keep the car on the track. I think I've actually been much more brave now actually with the accelerator pedal now. Oh. And yet, whoa! Come on, get off that, please. I was, I'm gonna say, and yet my actual lap, my actual lap time is actually slower than it was last time, apparently. I thought I'd be much more aggressive this lap than I was last lap, but apparently I'm not, which is a bit upsetting, I suppose. Here. Get off that dirt, please. That'd be amazing if I actually get off the dirt. And again, I think I love going on that dirt. Apparently, luckily this game at this point, at least fours or two, didn't have the, the actual when the tires start going on the dirt, they didn't start picking up debris. Rumours are, on the new Fours of Five, that's what will happen. Actually, hopefully they'll be there at Eurogamer, because I, I know that Fours has quite a good European following, so hopefully they'll be there at Eurogamer, it's something I'll be going to this year. I'm hopefully we're having good coverage, so uh, 
hopefully I'll be getting some good content with racing games equivalent. Oh, I keep doing that bloody button! Jeeves, keep doing that. So yeah, hopefully I'm getting lots of good content. Not so much, I might, not, I might actually not be able to get as many interviews as I was kind of playing originally, but hopefully I'll be able to get tons of like good content out there, some possible gameplay of racing games and stuff like that. Because I know last year Grid 2 was here, uh, was there at least, and I, I played it, but I, I actually was allowed to record it, but Ben recorded it. And we never received that gameplay anyway, so that's pretty weird. Obviously, it wasn't actually a good gameplay because Ben recorded it on his uh, like equivalent of a phone camera thing, which was okay, I suppose. No, it wasn't awful, but it was literally I kind of got hold of the game like half a foot another guy's race because he got bored of it, and I just you know kind of had to stop to go on it. And actually, I actually paid on the, with the steering wheel, and that steering wheel I actually bought myself. Which, at the moment at least, is not working, so I might have to get something else for that one, or I'll have to rebuy the hovering little column or something like that. But it costs about, it actually costs $250, but in the UK you could buy it for £275, which is equivalent to about $400, so, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit of a rip of UK prices, I suppose. And I know that we have, actually like, we have like an extra 10% tax even on like the highest prices on earth, but still, still a hell of a lot of money, you know, mark up. Split time, plus 30 seconds, good. There you go, I'm pretty much going to finish this race now. Pretty darn good. Whoa, don't go up the curb, please, that'd be awful. Please stop trying to mount the curb, car. There we go, back on the, we're actually back on the open road now. Hooray, back on the open road. On the road again. Something, something on the road again. Oh, off the road. It's an off road touring car now. Not touring car, off the rally cross effect. Speaking of touring cars, that's all I'm going to say. They will maybe make an appearance later on in the year. I don't know when. I actually technically have two different versions of that game, so I might do the PC version for one day, and I might do the Xbox version for another day. I might do. Actually, I don't know what I'll do. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm going to say is my gaming collection hasn't even had a dent in it compared to anything like two games. This is the third game, and I'll probably stick about another. 13 games to go. Some of them are like just equivalent of like not for like Forza 2, Forza 3, Forza 4, but you know, still. But I don't have Forza Horizon by the way, guys. I may pick that up to do like a late on edition, but at the moment I don't have it. If people want me to, I can actually do a full let well, not a full let's play, but I attempt to do a let's play on my other channel of Forza Horizon. That game looks pretty cool. I played a bit of the demo of it, but it's still quite expensive. And I know they had a sale on Xbox for like, $20, I think it was. But still, you know, I just I didn't pick it up because I don't trust to put my money on Xbox now. I either buy it via Microsoft points on a card, or the reason for that is because I actually used my debit card and um, Xbox took money out of it, but they refused to give me the, uh, the points back, and they still actually not giving me money, my money back. So they kind of stole in like what about ten pounds off me, which is about what fourteen dollars, and they've not given me anything in return for that. So I think that's a bit, I'm a bit pissed off about that actually. But then again, it's Microsoft's big multi-billion you know dollar company couldn't afford you know given some they were money back but you know not that I'm having a grudge against them anymore today but you know we'll find out <laughs> we'll find out how much of a grudge I have when I actually buy a new console and yes I will be buying a new console what one it will be I'm, I can't guarantee but I kind of know what one I want no I can tell you which one my heart wants to buy but I can tell you which one my brain wants to buy if you know what I mean Well, actually, my brain says keep the fucking PC if I want to. Put, put, put like a £200 graphics card in and then I'll be, you know, better off, I suppose. And race is going to be completed any second now. Come on. Keep it going. 190. 192 again. 193. Four. Oh, yeah. There we go. Done. Post and done scoreboard. Oh, I love post and done scoreboard. Yay! Continue. How long have we been recording now? Roughly 20 minutes, so, um, uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that level up. How, how come I can't. Oh, actually, I needed a lot of points actually to get level 50. I think there's actually an achievement for level 50, actually, which is pretty cool. That'd be pretty sweet to get that one. So, I've, I've got a choice here. I've uh, stopped the recording prematurely. 
know what I'm gonna do now. Don't worry guys, I just worked out what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do that. What I will do is I'm not going to the Porsches or anything like that. If goes to the garage. What's the best car I have? That's not garage. How do I get to the garage? Uh, my cars go straight to the most the fastest car I have in the oh, so. There you go. Actually, I've not seen half my pack, so oh look, oh yeah, I remember this now. Now I actually know what these are now, but at the time I only bought these because I knew that they sell extremely in the marketplace. And the reason why I actually have 18 million credits is actually because I bought tons of these things on the marketplace. How about if we race? What's an interesting car to race? Uh, actually, let's just race that one before I get in car. And what we'll do is we'll we'll play the amazing go race, and we'll go to amateur club race. Can I get any of these in? So booster, I've got booster. How about this then? How about if we piss about this one in the show? So, what car can I race? I can race. Um, Hmm. Let's do this one, shall we? This track, I like this track actually, probably one of my favourite ones. Let's see if we can actually lap the cars in it, because I think they're probably going to be only like 250 horsepower at the best, and I've got like a 500 horsepower, like one ton car. Probably even more horsepower than that, probably more like 800 if I'm being honest with you, but we'll find out, I suppose. If it'll load in. That's one of the things that I remember about this game, it has quite a large loading time, so that is the best part of this game, clearly, is the loading time. Loading time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, race. Oh, look, there's a couple of A cars. So, is that Aston Martin? Yes, it is. Aston Martin versus Le Mans. Well, hey, see you later, suckers. This is one of the things I miss about doing, you know, Fours of Fours. Like, they, they don't let you play with other, like, they have restrictions because, like, you can only have a couple of D class cars and stuff like that. This game didn't have that, which is was probably my favourite bit, because I used to, because I actually bought uh, like one of these cars that uh, the actual auction house for like, like 10,000 or whatever credits it was. And I used to, and I raced this car, well not in this one, but like an actual Le Mans car for like the first 50 races of the game, but yep, I'm in. So I do have my in view, which is a bit upsetting. Yeah, I do look quite like the in-car view actual car. 130. Let's see if we go. Pretty fast, pretty fast. I'm only, what, a bit of the car behind me. Come on. Yeah, I've got a brake on. Whoa. I actually really enjoy this track because it's quite a simple track to learn. And I bet it's probably got probably one of the best views to watch in the world though if you get to see this track. You can watch the entire track from like one seat or something like that. Which is actually what you can do at Brands Hatch, uh, the actual indie track, which is something I actually live extremely close to, and which hopefully you guys will see more of in the future. And I'll probably explain to you guys why it's one of my favourite tracks in the world, because I actually live probably about 20 minutes drive away from it, so obviously I go to the local races there sometimes. 100, 130, 40, 50. Wow, car behind. 24 seconds. Get off the rumble strips, come on. But I'm actually not pushing the car to its full capabilities, I'm just can't really just there and it kind of do what I want to do, I suppose. Whoa, going up high there, aren't you? It's that entire apex there by about a meter. I think we'll probably start lapping the next lap actually. Here we go. Imagine how much G force this car producing. Oh, look at all this lovely stuff. This is amazing. Let's go off this though. That, I don't really like get that stuff from me whilst I'm racing. Whoa! I meant to do that. And yeah, it feels so fast than that. What the heck car is that? Is that a Porsche? Is that like a Porsche Cape? Not Cape, is it like a Porsche? Whatever it is. Box probably. That's the old one, isn't it? Because this game's like 2006, isn't it? 
go. What the heck is that car? I don't even know what that car is. It's weird seeing all these old cars because in, in the day this car game was actually made, these cars are like ultra modern, but now these cars are uh, like 90% of these cars here, like all the models. Especially there are ways to keep like, you know, we'll avoid that one here. Whoa, okay, made it. Saved it. I don't think I'll be able to lap in the game though. Well, I could. Pretty damn cool if I could just lap in the game though. Whoa, here. Don't go off the track. I'm off the track. I'm definitely wow. Okay. Come on, Ferrari. Nice view. Split time minus 15 seconds. So I feel like sitting there that time's in one try. Hit that. Whoa. Well, almost plus a second on that that last lap. Let's see what let's see if we can get like a nice 47 second lap then, show. Probably won't be doing it anymore now if I just keep making shipping mistakes like that. Oh yes, lovely, and that's 40, 47 second lap, that was good, that's what I wanted to do, that's what I wanted to achieve, and that's what I got, look at that, 47.1, and the other guys are sitting at 1 minute 7, yes, good, good, what the heck is this Proto Spree, uh, I've never heard of that car before, ever, but okay, uh, difficulty, yay, Nowhere near leveling up, but I don't really care about that one. But anyway, there you go. We almost made it 30 minutes long, so that's pretty damn good. I think that's pretty much all we're gonna do now for this game. But um, thank you guys for watching. This has been Forza Motorsports 2, and uh, this has been Luke, Luke's on the drive. And um, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.